is on play now. Greetings all the way from Tampa, Florida. I send you greetings, happy 70th church anniversary, and most importantly, happy Pioneer's Day. My name is Evangelist Shanika Sellers, and I once also was a member of Pentecostal Temple Church of God in Christ about maybe some 25, 30 years ago. So it does me just joy to have been asked by Pastor Scalabary to say some words of encouragement for this Pioneer's Day. I want to say when I was young, well, let me start by saying this. In Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6, it says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. I am a living testimony to that scripture. My mother, Patsy Berry, raised four children most of the time on her own. And she found herself in Pentecostal Temple under the leadership of pioneer pastor Aaron Brown and First Lady Rose Brown. They were like parents to her. And they were also like parents to me. And if I must be honest, I would have to say that Pastor Brown was the closest thing to God I knew at the time. To me, he was God himself. And I know he wasn't God, but at a young age of around 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I looked at his leadership skills. And my, did he lead us. He was like my father, my grandfather, my leader. I had many talks in his offices at a young age, but I, I understood all of our talks. I loved him so dearly. And I know he's gone on to be with the Lord now. And I bless him. I bless him. I bless him. If he was here to receive these flowers, he would be so happy. And to pioneer First Lady, Rose Brown. Rose is the perfect name for you. Because you definitely was the fragrance of Pentecostal Temple. I looked up to you. Because you walked with such authority and such grace in your steps. And I know it is a blessing for the members who remain there now to also have you in their leadership. First Lady Rose Brown, I love you. Moving right along. I grew up with T uh, Pastor Timothy and Pioneer Daniel. I can remember the many prophecies that went out over their lives that they would walk with God. And Maya does my heart such joy to see them now. Elder, Elder Daniel Doggett and pioneer Pastor Timothy Scandalberry. May God bless everything that you place your hands to. And I give respect to each and every member in their places, to the ministers, to the elders, to the evangelists, to the deacons, all the way down to the usher and the little baby in the car seat. I bless you too. And one day I will be there to fellowship with you. But I, I just want to leave this with you. The number 70 had such great significance in the Bible. But one thing that I would like to elaborate just a little bit on was when Jesus sent out the 70. He sent them out to heal the sick and to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. There is no coincidence that you're now in your 70th year. That number 70 also means abundance. It means plenty. And as long as you humble yourselves before God under the leadership of your pastors and your leaders, you will see nothing but the abundance in your life from this point on. And I just want to encourage you in your walk with God 
and to tell you not to lose the faith, to keep your hands in God's hands, his unchanging hands, and watch God do it for you because he's just that type of God. So enjoy Pioneer's Day. Enjoy this, an this anniversary. And I'm signing off all the way from Tampa, Florida. God bless.